My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Well, I'd like to mention a thing or two. I just took care of that light bulb up there, which was kind of burning out and was kind of dim in the last few videos I recorded, but it just so happened that I felt this a good time to kind of get on here and start to carve out the new Robin. I will say you've already seen this one before and how I kind of did it and have shown it in a few videos here, but this time around I want to get on and demonstrate how I do it because that one right there was my trial one and this time around with the other blank I finally decided to do to put it on video so what I've already done here is kind of like cut out a little slit for the tail here and think when I come down to a little more work might just kind of like remove a little bit of wood from the other side and kind of I say I say remove what we need to remove out of that little area there and we're going to come down to where we finally got these places to do and I say I say kind of just move in a little bit of work here so kind of take this along you see this little corner in here we're just kind of carving along the top of it right now not carving out the whole line and I tell you one thing for sure I probably chose a pretty slick piece of walnut here to carve to cut these blanks from even whenever I was carving the first of these walnut blanks and in, into these robins it kind of got to be a little bit of a hectic little mess there because I say I say that the mess was just a little involvement to what we all kind of see when we take a little step into our work and what all we do for what we have and what we make for little walnut robins which I've even studied online that, that there's quite a few states of which it's the state bird and I say I say that it's just one of those things where you know you, I've learned how to do a little Google research to know what types of tags to put on my YouTube videos and that's just where I start learning all this stuff from and how that little videos can make us all see a little sense in things as far as what we have and do and make us say that this is just where we come along removing a little wood off the robin's tail and that is a step we take here to kind of get a little bit of a little movement into the little place and I say that it's going to be a joyful little bit of work when we get it all done making the tail out for the little robin made of walnut and come along here we've gotten this much out we've carved along the pattern that separates the wing from the tail remove that and 
even in these days, you know, birds, they kind of come all the way around and, you know, I just keep on thinking of, about how I was a kid. A robin was probably the first bird I ever got introduced to. I mean, there were probably other birds I was aware of. I knew that there were chickens and ducks and geese, but I didn't know they were birds. But I know for sure that before I found out what a robin's name was, it was something that as a kid I just called a bird. And make me think of a time when my sister had a little pet earthworm and she lost it or probably found it and she kind of lost it in the grass and my mom told her that she was afraid some bird came by and ate it. So that's kind of where I start learning about Robin Redbreast and all the ways they kind of catch their worms and feed them to their young kids. Even saw a meme where the mother robin was feeding the worms to her babies and said, you may get gummy worms at grandma's house, but you will only get real worms here. So I say that this is just kind of what a little thought is that goes into a little work that we do just for ourselves and others. And I say, I say that it's always good strength. I have strong hands. I have the ability to carve this hard walnut wood. And some people I've heard, they've tried to carve a little cherry or a walnut and they broke out themselves into a rash. Sometimes, just sometimes, you're just not so sure about all that stuff. But, you know, it's just what we kind of learn to deal with in life and it gets a little better as we kind of try to move it along I say this is just how we kind of do the little robin to make it so its wings are going to be separate from the tail we got this far I think there's a little area where we drew a line for as wide as the tail is going to be. Just try to remove a little chipling of wood from around the robin's tail and remove it down to a good little size. I say that the pattern was great. It was all very a thoughtful thing. And... I'm here to tell you all that little things are going to change. I got a place now where we probably just need to draw in a line underneath to make the little line that separates out the wings and underneath the belly and kind of got this line drawn right here. We're going to move along that line, I say. I say that this is just a little joy of work, wood carving. And I come by to tell you all that, of course, the way I'm starting to advertise on Instagram, somebody asked me if I made any animals besides birds, and I told them that I do make quite a few Right now, I'd say that the birds are probably what I'm just kind of starting these new routines with, with internet advertising and all, but with the little work I'm taking on, there's going to be other things to come as well. And I say, I say, this is a slick piece of walnut here, so... It might be a little bit more trouble than it should have to be to kind of carve along these little wings, but we're going to take our time and do it slow and be safe, so 
I say, I say, it's almost like when we carved the wings of the cardinal out of cherry in a way. You know, just kind of so much caution we had to take. There's some things you're probably going to see by the time this video is up, but I've been kind of working on a, a little Carolina wren because I had a lady comment on one of my bird posts months ago asking me if I ever made one and kind of thought it'd be a nice little thing to make. And I say, I say that it's just little strange ways we have of going from place to place, doing thing to thing. And I say for a little place where we do a little carving and stuff, I just know that there's fine times in our lives when we kind of work our little narrow ways. I say, I say that this is just kind of the little work of the way. And how this goes, little do we know how it's going to be. But we're coming down to where we're hopefully going to get this done before the video gets too long. And I say, I say that there's just other little tiny steps here. But there's so much we can remove if we only take the time and make the effort to do so. Because this will be a little hard when we really grind into this wood. But I say, I say that this is a fine little piece of walnut to carry its way down into the really heart of the wood. And there's many more things I'll be making further along, but like to say this is the best one I have. And sometimes you just kind of got to be careful not to cut yourself when you're going about on a hard piece like this. And this is just the way I'm removing it a little by little. I can always find little clever ways to do it and ways to get around all the knots and indirections in the grains. And with a little time and effort, we're going to remove this little access here. And I say, I say, for the wood we don't need, kind of make our way along into the piece. Kind of just take it so we kind of work along kind of ways. We know that this is going to be a nice little bit of work when we get it all done here. Take the little time we have and move it along to what it's going to be when it all gets done in the long run. Take us down to where we just see a little bright light in it and again be careful not to cut yourself when you're carving a really hard wood so I say I say it seems like we've gotten farther along here about as far as we need to go right now so it's just been a good time to come on this video share a little chit chat what we had to say I think I'm getting this a little flatter about like it needs to be and there are certain pieces of wood that I may not suggest to you unless you have really strong hands like I do so we're gonna dig right in remove this extra piece Take it alongside where 
it's going to see bright little brown robins and maybe one day we'll put little fishing lure worms up to their mouths. Anything is possible these days if you're creative. You can come up with anything in any way. Each of you is creative somehow. It may be different from one of you to the next. It may not be with your hands, but you're creative with something. Maybe it's your mind. It could be anything. You know, you just probably got to realize that you know how to do something somebody can't. So thank you all for watching again and pray you have it safe and always keep in touch. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.